Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, four amazing Bitcoin charts showing you exactly what is happening, but also a fiat chart that is exactly showing you what is happening to the poor and the rich people over the world. I'm going to compare those. Really cool information. Of course, a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice and the news. Finally, some positive news from the United States, if you ask me. So let's quickly jump into the first couple of charts to shock you, but also show you where we are heading next in Bitcoin. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this Bitcoin UGT one hour chart. We can see an amazing buy signal down below over here, guys. The candle was closing above the yellow stepping line. That is why it was a purple candle that's indicating that we are closing above the yellow stepping line. And from that moment, there was a nice profit of around 2K. Beautiful. Uh, there is a sell signal on the top. That sell signal will only be valid if there is a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line. At the moment, I would not take that sell signal guys because we are still in the buy signal we can exit the buy signal when there is a sell signal or when we see a closing of the candle down below the yellow stepping line we can see on the right side that we broke that massive area of uh, resistance of 43k so if we stay above this with this candle in 53 minutes and we create another candle above it then i believe that we could even revisit at 48k level guys also on the bottom if you look at this one we are at the level 70 we can even go to the level of 80 90 with that white line um, the blue line still very positive this is also looking very positive and the bottom part of the indicator guys is also still fully green so yeah I would not exit yet. I would wait this one out till we close down below the yellow step line. There's a lot of profit already there. So maybe uh, increase your stop loss and your trading stop loss and everything to just below that yellow stepping line. So if we close below it, blow it that you um, step out of that trade that was given, of course, in the Bitcoin family VIP channel. Now, let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts. First, starting with this chart, the spot BTC ETF money flow. We can see how many million of dollars per day are flowing into each a spot uh, offer so we can see fbtc ibit bitb argb btco yeah, we can see them all on the right side the colors we can of course see that ibit is the leading one but at the moment fbtc is also a massive inflows uh, the numbers on the left side these are millions so it's 200 million or 400 million per day we can see that they are decreasing so we had a peak in the beginning and now we are decreasing but the more important line i want you to focus on is that bottom line that green line because that's gbtc that's grayscale and you can see that is a minus so there was a lot of bitcoins dumped by grayscale for the first seven days but now the dumping becomes less and less so this green line will even probably in the, in the future again go a little bit more positive which means then the liquidity inflow will almost double because those outflows in GBTC, they were almost all the time, as you can see, 600 million per day, 600 million day, 500 million, 600 day, 700 million per day. While the inflows were only also 600 million per day because the total amount of the top lines was almost equal at the total amount of that bottom line, that green line. So when that green line goes up, that is when we will see that real supply shock happening, when the real money starts to flow into these spot ETFs without having a shitload of outflows. That is exactly when we will see another huge jump in the price. And I believe that will be within 30 days of the start. So we are now around day 11. So it will be another 20 days that all the grayscale BTC dumpers will be able to buy back after 30 days. And then, yes, we will see another pump. The most positive thing I want to share with you is that now the Bitcoin addresses with a balance of bigger than 0.1 Bitcoin is continuously growing guys there's more than 5 million addresses now that hold 0.1 bitcoin if we look at the bigger than one bitcoin amount of addresses we have more than 1 million addresses that hold one bitcoin just compare this to 2021 top we were around 800,000 bitcoin addresses that held more than one bitcoin now we already are at 1 million and the bull market still needs to start the Bitcoin address with a balance more than 100 BTC, that one stays equal. So whales are not selling anymore. They sold a little bit in 2017. Now they don't sell anymore. More and more one Bitcoin plus addresses, more and more 0 0.1 Bitcoin addresses. The most important thing that we can conclude from this is 
that the decentralization of Bitcoin continues because there's more and more people now that own one Bitcoin. So the amount of people owning one Bitcoin is not decreasing. More and more people have one Bitcoin and more and more people will become millionaires because of that. So that's the opposite of what is happening in fiat currencies. In Bitcoin, we are growing, the adoption is growing. It will become more decentralized as long more and more people start to participate in Bitcoin. While in fiat currencies, I'm going to show you now, we see something completely different. In fiat currencies, we see this. The top 1% of the US is becoming richer and richer. The share of the national income of the top 1% is now around 21%. That's that red line. The rich 1% is becoming richer. That blue line, that's the bottom 50% in the United States. That blue line shows that the bottom 50% that had 20% of the national income now only is left with 13% of the income. That blue line is showing you that the bottom 50% of the United States is becoming poorer and poorer and poorer. So the top 1% richer, the bottom 50% poorer. If you would see these numbers by now to 2023, I think we would all be in shock because that 1% became even more rich and that bottom 50% with all the COVID crashes and everything that we had became even more poor, guys. Middle class is now being taken over by the top 1% wealth. Even the middle class is dropping and that top 1% compared to that middle class is growing. And that top 1% is now stepping into Bitcoin because they see this as the gold of the 21st century. You should be doing what the top 1% is doing because you can see in these graphs that they are becoming richer and all of you, they are not doing that. The middle class and the lower class, we are only getting poorer. Then we see this chart. We can see that the Bitcoin mining sustainability is amazing. We have sustainable energy now, 54.5%. So most of our Bitcoins are now mined in a green, clean way, clean energy amazing chart so we can see that these miners are taking care of our future of the kids future of our environment because they start to implement clean energy more and more into the bitcoin mining. very positive for bitcoin of course and we can also see that there's even countries like for example ethiopia electricity generation in ethiopia we have oil hydro geothermal solar and wind you can see it has been increasing tremendously. All that clean energy being created in Ethiopia. Just imagine the whole world will understand that that clean energy is also being used for mining Bitcoin now. That mining Bitcoin will even make profits so that can be invested in creating even cleaner green energy. And just imagine that cycle that can then start to run from there. More profit, more clean energy. More profit, more clean energy. More profit, more clean energy. Bitcoin is not only the tool to create wealth, to create a democracy, decentralization, but also the tool to protect our environment against all the negative influence that was created by those companies that were using dollars and fiat currencies. Now, when they will start to use Bitcoin, they will automatically be cleaning our environment. That's because Bitcoin is almost at 55% clean energy. The last chart, guys, and yes, this video will be a little bit longer. I already prepare you for that. But um, if you enjoyed the video, give it already a thumbs up now, please, and share it with your friends and family. We need to grow. But the last chart for today is this one, of course, showing you the Bitcoin drawdowns on the top, uh, those red drops. These are the Bitcoin drawdowns. And I have been saying this like for a long time. On the bottom, we create these lakes. And every time when the lake is closed, that is when we break the previous all-time high. So if we reach 69K this time, then that lake will be closed. But from that moment, you can see every time we do another run, a shitload of profits being created when that lake is closed. So be sure that you are in Bitcoin before we reach the closing of that lake, guys. In my opinion, you should be in Bitcoin before the halving. Halving, probably 50K. 
Before that moment, you need to be in Bitcoin. And the halving is going to take place in April 2024. So you have another like 70 days, 75 days or something like that to go and accumulate Bitcoin day by day. I hope these charts make you understand why it's so important to be invested in Bitcoin instead of holding fiat currencies on your bank account. Do you see what kind of wealth gap is being created because of the dollar? It's the rich people that are getting richer, the top 1%. It's the bottom 50% is only getting poorer and poorer. That is creating a huge wealth gap. That is the reason why you need to be in Bitcoin. You need to hedge your capital in Bitcoin because that's a store of value protecting you against inflation, but also against that kind of money printing that is making the rich even more richer and the poor more poorer guys, which is of course caused by that inflation. You should be on the right side of history. You should be investing in Bitcoin right now. Also because I just showed you that Bitcoin is not bad for the environment. Bitcoin is good for the environment. Bitcoin is one of the greenest assets out there. 54% already mined in a green way. Wind, air, sun, using all those elements, nature elements to mine Bitcoin. I believe that Bitcoin even will contribute to making the world a more greener place. Bitcoin is not bad. That's what they told you because they were afraid for it. Now they start to understand it. Now they start to integrate it into the whole financial system, into spot ETFs, with everything else. And now they start to admit, ah, yes, we are using a lot of green energy to mine Bitcoin, 54% already. Maybe soon it will be around 70% because more and more miners are turning in to become green miners, using every nature's element to mine Bitcoins. And believe me, then it will be the biggest asset out there. It will outpace gold. Gold has a 10, 11 trillion market cap. Bitcoin will be way bigger in my honest opinion. We are still very early. The adoption curve is around three to 5% at the moment. We still need to go to 20 to 30% of adoption worldwide. Just imagine the huge supply shock that will happen because we know there is only 21 million Bitcoins and the demand will keep growing, but the offer, the daily offer, will decrease every four years because of the halving. And that halving is now taking place in April 2024. Hopefully it will be the 20th of April, that's 2004-2024, beautiful, playful date. But from that moment, the miners will make 50% less revenue than they are making now because they are mining less Bitcoins daily. The price needs to double for them to be breaking even. And that will happen. This year we will see 70k. So every Bitcoin that you buy now, you will make 30k profit. That's beautiful. You can't find any other asset in this world that will give you that performance, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the trading tip. The trading tip today has to do with a question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, if you are all in Bitcoin, how can you still be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin every time? You say, always say dollar cost average, but you are already all in. How can you still go all in? Now, my answer to that question is I trade two ways. I trade USDT BTC pair, which makes me earn a lot of USDT. And I of course also trade the inverse contract, which makes me earn more Bitcoin. But those USDT that I earn because of trading the USDT BTC pair, I of course need to invest them because I don't want to hold too much USDT. So every time at the end of the month, I can exactly see so much USDT I earned. And now I'm going to wait for the Bitcoin dip. I'm going to accumulate more Bitcoin. Aside of my trading revenue, of course, we also have revenue because of my affiliate links and everything else that we do in this world. So there's, of course, always an income. And that income is mostly in USDT or any other cryptocurrency. And I will convert all those profits into Bitcoin. So there's, for me, always a possibility to buy more Bitcoin. I didn't do nothing anymore. I just kept working. I kept earning USDT, Bitcoin, any other current currency by doing everything I do. I'm working every day from six in the morning till about one in the afternoon. 
that's almost a full working day, creating videos, creating content, uh, supporting companies, investing in companies, researching companies, um, investing in startups, advising startups. There is a ton of work that I'm doing. Aside of that, recording documentaries with the full family. And aside of that, running a full family with three children, a wife and a little gay dog. So there is so much work that I'm doing, but there is always revenue for the energy that I put in. And that energy that I put in, that needs to be converted into USDT or any other stablecoin, and that will be converted into Bitcoin again. I never expected it to become like this. I always expected when I went all in, okay, I will make a shit with a profit, pff, I will go onto the beach and do nothing anymore and just enjoy my life. But it didn't turn out that way. Because of that step, we got this Bitcoin family brand and we are monetizing that Bitcoin family brand. We have a VIP section, we are selling t-shirts, we're doing a lot of stuff. And yes, 25% of all that revenue will at least go to charities, but we still have some left. That is why I am always able to buy more Bitcoins. For me, my top strategy is in the bull market years, 2024, 25, you trade the inverse pair. So you trade BTC. So you accumulate more BTC. Every trade you win, you win BTC. Because in the bull market years, you want to have more BTC. The bear market year, 2026, 27, those years is best to trade USDT. Because in those trades, you want to accumulate as much as possible USDT so that at the bottom, the bear market bottom, you have a shitload of USDT to then enter the market again and buy Bitcoin. So the three Kind of bullish years, you trade the inverse pairs, you accumulate more Bitcoin. Fourth bearish year, you accumulate USDT, so you trade USDT pair. That is how I do it. Of course, during these bullish years, I will also sometimes trade USDT because I want to have some USDT to buy other tokens and other dips and invest in other projects. I do this both, but if you're a starter, a beginner, I would start to trade the inverse pair to accumulate more Bitcoin in the bullish years because it's very difficult to outperform the Bitcoin growth with USDT profits. Sounds very uh, difficult now, but just imagine every time Bitcoin goes up in price, you need to make more profits in USDT to be able to buy Bitcoins at those higher price levels. So it's very difficult in the bullish year for me to accumulate more USDT because I can never compare to accumulating Bitcoin because of the trading, because that will make me more Bitcoin. With USDT, I still need to buy the Bitcoin, but if the Bitcoin price keeps going up, it will be difficult to buy up the Bitcoin price and still be in profit with my USDT pair. Maybe it sounds really difficult and I will make a new video about that, but for me now, these two years, try to accumulate as much as possible Bitcoin by trading the inverse pair on Bybit, of course. And yes, if you want to sign up to Bybit, use the link down below. If you sign up, you can claim a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar. Soon we will do the giveaway of the iPhone, the VIP membership and some t-shirts because that competition has um, ended by now. So we're going to do a giveaway very soon. So we will be announcing who's the winner of the iPhone and the VIP membership and all the t-shirts. And soon we will start a new uh, beautiful competition again. So you need to sign up using my link to Bybit to be able to join those competitions that we in combination with Bybit make. Now that was the trading tip for today. Let's quickly jump into the next part. The travel tip for today was from one of the followers. Really good travel tip. If you go hiking or if you're backpacking and you're walking a long of distances and you're wearing shoes, please always pack an extra pair of shoe laces. You can always use them when one of the shoelaces breaks down. You can, of course, have a new shoelace, but you can also use them if you need them to tie something up or maybe even if you get bitten by a snake to tie off your leg or whatever it is, guys. But always pack an extra pair of shoelaces. You can use it for many other things. Just imagine a few things and comment them down below. How would you use an extra pair of shoelaces? That was the travel tip for today. Thank you for giving me all these travel tips in the comments. Keep giving me more travel tips so I can share them with the whole community. This travel tip was from Vic, I think, or something. Uh, thank you, Vic, for this beautiful travel tip. And let's now jump into the next part. The next part is answering the question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, what if the government makes Bitcoin illegal? Or what if the central banks created Bitcoin? Now, there's a very simple answer to that. What does that matter? We don't care who is the creator of Bitcoin because we can use Bitcoin but we can also hard fork Bitcoin. If they will make Bitcoin illegal, we will probably hard fork it to a new version of Bitcoin or maybe start to use Bitcoin Cash 
or maybe any other form of Bitcoin that will be hard forked from the core Bitcoin. And we will start to use that one, which is not illegal. And we will make that grow as a community. You need to understand that Bitcoin didn't grow because of all these institutional investors. It grew because of you, me and all the people that believe in Bitcoin. And secondly, the government has made a shitload of things illegal in the world. Did people stop using them? Like weed was illegal. People didn't stop using it. People kept using it because people loved the advantages of weed. And in the end now, all over the world, the governments are now making weed legal, legalizing weed, because the community wants it to be legal. So if the government wants to make Bitcoin illegal, it is up to us to fight back and to tell them, hey, government, you can't decide it. We are choosing you to be our president or to be our political party that runs the world. You need to listen to our opinion. But as long as you and I keep giving them all the flexibility to do whatever the fuck they want in a democracy, yeah, of course they can make that kind of decisions. But normally, when there is a large community supporting Bitcoin, and now even the rich people stepping into this world, all the investors or all the people giving their money to BlackRock to buy a spot ETF, this is the rich 1% of the world that is now stepping into this. You know what we talk about? The chart? Those people are supporting Bitcoin. Do you think that they will allow the governments to make Bitcoin illegal? Or do you think they are paying the governments to be a government? Do you think they are paying the elections of Donald Trump and all these other people? Why do you think now in the United States that Donald Trump is already announcing I'm going to fight against central banks' digital currencies? He knows that that is a position he really doesn't want. They don't want the central banks to rule the world. If you're a real president, you want a real democracy and you want the people to rule the world. So I don't believe at all that they will make Bitcoin illegal or that Bitcoin is made by the central bank's digital currency, but if so, if so, at the end, we made a shit of the profit, we had a beautiful time, we will hard fork it to a new currency that we will then start to use at the community. Maybe we'll even start to use Dogecoin or any other currency that is already existing. We just take our liquidity and put it into another chain. And then the government will take years again, years again, years again to find out what we did and then again to um, make that one as well illegal. But they are always behind. They are always behind. They can't stop Bitcoin. Bitcoin is unstoppable. They can make it illegal in certain places of the world. But after this, I'm going to share a news item that maybe will even change your mind now about that possibility of making Bitcoin illegal. So let's quickly jump now into the news. The news item is finally some positive news from the United States. Thank you all United States followers for showing me this positive news. There are now 18 senators in the United States Pro Bitcoin. 18 senators pro Bitcoin. There are 30 senators against Bitcoins, I think of which the biggest part is like uh, Democrats, but the 18 is already for it. So I think there is in total 100 senators. So there's a shitload of senators that still need to be convinced. But the moment that the amount of senators starts growing that are pro Bitcoin, that is the moment the government will become pro Bitcoin as well. And all of those senators, they all know and they all heard what Donald Trump said. We are not going to accept central banks' digital currency. So they all know that won't be playing out in the future, so we can't be pro central bank digital currency because then we won't be elected by Donald Trump for certain positions. So Donald Trump, I think, did a really cool thing over there by saying, hey, I'm not going to do central bank digital currency. So a lot of people uh, that also are invested in BlackRock, Spot, ETH, and all that will now be saying, hey, 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 we are pro Bitcoin. And I think it will be more and more and more. It's not only like the United States, it's like El Salvador, it's Brazil, it's Argentina, it's Switzerland, it's more countries in Europe, more young politicians getting into this space and are educated well about Bitcoin and are pro-Bitcoin because they understand the economics behind it. They understand exactly why Bitcoin could save their economy. They do understand that the printing a shitload of money out of thin air is creating inflation and that will be ending up badly for their people. They do understand this, of course they know that. But to change that, they need to adapt a new monetary system. And that new monetary system, in my honest opinion, can be Bitcoin. 
And that is what the politicians now start to learn as well. They are educating themselves more and more and more about it. The sun starts to shine right directly on my camera. So 18 senators already positive. I think it will be 50 in the end that will be positive about Bitcoin because they all will start to understand the power of Bitcoin. Not only because of the blockchain and technology, but also because it's making them richer. Because they will be invested in Bitcoin either way, guys. Either way, they will fall for the Google AdWords uh, commercials. They will fall for the BlackRock commercials. For all those commercials you see now being created by the spot ETS. Do you believe that the politicians are not going to buy that spot ETF? It would be the same that you think that ah, politicians would never use drugs. I think the politicians are one of the biggest drug users. I think they use coke all the time. They smoke weed all the time. Politicians do use drugs. It is illegal, isn't it? I know, it became legalized because too many politicians were using it. <laughs> Probably that's the reason why weed is being legalized all over the world. Because the politicians got so stressed out, they were like, oh, I need to have something to relax. And they start to smoke weed. And they were like, oh shit, this is really nice. I feel less stressed. Let's legalize it. <laughs> that's how it works in this world. And now the same thing will happen to Bitcoin. Yeah, it's a scam, it's a scam. And then they will start investing it. They will make like 100, 200% profit. And they were like, Wow, this is the goal of the 21st century. Let's legalize it. Let's make it a legal tender. Let's make it accessible for the whole of the world. That is exactly what is happening. And all those naysayers and those negative people, they will in the end all be convinced because of the results. And the blockchain of Bitcoin is unhackable, unchangeable. All the results that come out of that, profits, usage, everything, are hard numbers. They can't lie. So in the end, they will be forced to legalize Bitcoin or to adopt Bitcoin, to use Bitcoin, just like they were forced to use weed because they got fucked up by all those negative shit that they were putting on to the people because of all the negative laws that they were creating and the lockdowns and everything. They were like completely stressed out and they were like, what can I use? You can use weed. Snoop Dogg was there to create a song to tell them, hey, smoke some weed. Here, take some weed from me and now relax, chill and make better laws. <laughs> You can just imagine it happens like that. I really believe that a lot of you think that politicians that are against drugs don't use drugs. I think it's completely the opposite. Completely the opposite. And I think it's completely the same for all those politicians of which you think that are against Bitcoin, they already use Bitcoin. They use Bitcoin to fill their pockets to become more rich. But they don't want the normal people to become rich. So let's be against Bitcoin. Don't let the normal people have access. We need to have those Bitcoins. We will be able to buy those Bitcoins, not those normal people. Ugh, they need to be poor, poor, poor. Let's vote against Bitcoin. Let's keep it to ourselves. Let's keep the gold to the rich 1% of the world. That's how it works, guys. But we are going to win this fight. As long as we as a community keep fighting for the freedom of Bitcoin, we will be there to profit Bitcoin as well. And that last part brings me now to the quote for today. Because I just told you, as long as we keep fighting for freedom, for the Bitcoin freedom, we will be able to profit as well. Now, my quote for today is, our biggest weakness lies in giving up. We must never give up believing in Bitcoin and in freedom. And freedom in any kind of way. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice, freedom of whatever you can think of. As long as we don't give up, we still will have the possibility to create what we want to create, to be who we want to be, to give our children the opportunities and the future we want them to have. But sadly enough, our biggest weakness is that we always give up. But when it comes to Bitcoin, we should never give up. Because Bitcoin is not only making you rich, it's also protecting your capital, against inflation, it's an inflation hedge, but it also has a technology built in that we can use to democratize the world. Bitcoin and blockchain are the perfect combination to create peaceful anarchy. And I know anarchy sounds negative to you, but it isn't. Anarchy is a political idea where people really get to decide about themselves, what they think that life should be about, and everything, every choice, we can choose ourselves. We don't need politicians to choose for us, or a president to choose for us. We are human enough, evolved enough in the last billions of years to make our own choices. That is what anarchy means. And peaceful anarchy means that we will achieve that state without any wars, without any crimes, without any fights, in a peaceful way. 
And Bitcoin is the first peaceful revolution out there because we don't need to create wars. We just need to take our capital and put it in Bitcoin. That's the most peaceful revolution ever. Without fighting, without even shouting, without even speaking, just withdrawing all the cash from the old corrupt monetary system and put it into Bitcoin. Even fireworks now because they agree with me guys here in Thailand. Here, pop, 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 pop. That's all the Bitcoins disappearing from the banking system into the Bitcoin system. Just think about it. It's a peaceful revolution. We don't fight, we don't create wars, we don't need to shout, we don't need to do any negative stuff. We just need to take our bank money, our fiat currencies, and put it into Bitcoin. And by that, empty this system and fill up this decentralized blockchain, peer-to-peer -peer digital gold system, Bitcoin. That's a peaceful revolution that could lead to a peaceful anarchy state where we will really, as a community, as humanity, get to decide again what life should be about, what education should be about. Just imagine not being influenced by politicians, presidents, or any of those centralized entities that want to control you, create a regime, a social credit regime, tied to social credit, central banks, digital currencies. Just imagine that we as people could decide, would we choose for that? I don't think so. I think we would choose for a completely different future for our children. And that is exactly what peaceful anarchy will be giving us. And Bitcoin and blockchain are just the beautiful tools to create it. And that is why I have these two tattoos on my arms. Bitcoin, blockchain, peaceful anarchy. And that is why I'm wearing this new ring. Look, beautiful, the Bitcoin ring. And if you look very close to this Bitcoin ring, you can even see, look, that it has there the anarchy symbol. And on the other side, it has the peace symbol. And in the middle, there is Bitcoin. That is why I had this ring designed by Sam. You can see the link to his Twitter down below this video, guys. Uh, this is a Bitcoin jeweler. Just check him up and see if he can create something beautiful for you as well. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Tuesday and see you tomorrow again. Bam.